Gator Nation, welcome back to the Gator Nation podcast. I am the GMP, Gator Nation Principal Moulton. And joining me today is one of our first year teachers who um, has a history of education within her family, but we certainly were fortunate to grab her early. So joining us today, we have Karen Venables, seventh grade math teacher. How you doing, Ms. Venables? I'm good, how are you? I'm great. And so myself and Ethan, the Ocho Cleveland, I'll tell you why we call him the Ocho a little bit later. <laughs> yeah. But um, we we'll just want to take a, a couple of minutes to get to know you. So if you would, tell us about yourself. Oh, well, I was born and raised in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Um, I love baseball, everything baseball. Um, and I love math, really. Um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> All right, Venables, where have I heard that name here in Rock Hill? <laughs> uh, well, my dad is Dr. Venables. He teaches chemistry at Northwestern. Uh, my mom used to be a Venables at Rock Hill High and Northwestern. So, All right. So, so it's obvious that education and teaching has been very foundational in your upbringing. So, what led you to want to become a teacher? I was little, I would sit there with my stuffed animals and I would hand them papers and pretend to take them back up and grade them and do all that fun stuff. And I was like, you know, I could actually do this. I have a passion for changing kids' lives more than just teaching them. Math. So yeah. you you were that, that teacher, young person that <laughs> had the stuffed animals in the classroom. Oh, I did. So that, that was really a thing. I did the whole thing. Really? Like, what do you think about that, Ethan? I mean, you're a diehard teacher, that's for sure. <laughs> Teaching the stuffed animals. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, we have to make a big deal about the first middle school experience for students. Uh, many of our parents, you know, they do the boo-hooing and crying because their baby is growing up. But I want you to think about your mom and dad. And their baby girl just experienced her first week as a teacher. What do you think they would say? What are they thinking? Well, every day I come home, they ask me, like, you know, how was your day? What did you do? And uh, actually, it was after the, the second day of school that I actually told them, I was like, you know, I think I have found my calling. I think I'm doing the right thing. All right, awesome. So first day. Well, what were your thoughts? Did you, did you realize it was going to be like that? Did you anticipate how energetic and how engaged and how just... Take yourself back to your first day of sixth grade. How does it compare? <laughs> it's very similar. I actually see myself in some of these kids. Okay, okay. So, middle school, you went to... Salute Trail. Salute the Trail. <laughs> Yeah, that's where I remember you from. You know, I'm getting a little older, Ethan. I, she looks a little <laughs> familiar to me, but no. Um, you know, we did similar things. We want to make sure that the first day for students is, is extremely engaging and something that they will go home and talk to their parents about and just really anticipate coming back to school. So we had that first really energetic first day of school. Second day. Then the third day. Then the fourth day. And then the fifth day, five full days of middle school teaching. I recall seeing you on that Friday sitting in the fire pit, and your body was like, oh. Yeah, I was tired. <laughs> I was, no, nobody can prepare you for that part. I mean, my teacher parents can tell me all they want to, but until you've done it, you don't, you don't know. Okay, all right. <laughs> what you got, Ethan? Well, just a couple questions. So, no little random, but if you had one favorite meal or just a type of food, a dessert, anything, what would it be? My favorite food is my mom's homemade mac and cheese. Mm. Uh, you can ask any of my students, they, they all know already. Yeah. I had it for lunch today. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, and another one, what's your least favorite? Meatloaf. Mm. I don't know what it is. I just can't. I've tried all different peoples, all different restaurants. I just can't do it. 
I think I'd have figured it out after trying it the first time myself. <laughs> but you know, you're a teacher, so you give things a second and a third and a fourth try. So, um, undergrad. Talk to us about undergrad. Um, so I went to Francis Marion first. And then I moved to USC Upstate to be closer to home. Um, my freshman year is when COVID hit. Mm. So I didn't, I guess, get the college experience that everybody else got. But um, it was it was interesting. Student teaching and my clinicals, it was a little bit, a little bit different. Um, it prepared me. I was going to ask, how do you think it prepared you for your very first year? Um, I think that there were some things that weren't done that should have been done to prepare me better. Um, but as far as being with the kids and building those relationships, that part I picked up on pretty fast. Uh, okay. So um, as a fellow upstate along myself, um, it's interesting, you, I didn't know that you went to Francis Marion first because that was the pathway for my wife. She began at Fan Francis Marion and then we met at, at USC. It was USC Spartanburg at the time. So yep. I can kind of tell my age a little bit. <laughs> but um, we're, we're proud upstate alum. So you were highly coveted. And so once I realized that we had someone at upstate Ethan that had groups here in Rock Hill who family I've known for quite a few years, then it was a no-brainer. I had to have her here at Dutchman Creek to be a Dutchman Creek Gator. She didn't necessarily have the deep history between Dutchman Creek and Saluda Trail like I had, but at the same time, it was like, nah, got to have her here. So we're very, very proud of your first week. Hopefully, you've had a great experience here at Dutchman Creek, and we look forward to you building a prosperous career um, here at Dutchman Creek. But, you know, wherever you're your pathway takes you we want to do a good job of preparing you for your future so thank you so much for joining us Ethan you got anything else before we break out of here no I think we covered it all okay all right Miss Venables you got to give us your very best go Gators to sound us off all right go Gators <laughs>